Twinmotion users, Alex here, Twinmotion guide, and today we're gonna check out how we can use the cloud option that is now available inside Twinmotion for uploading your scenes and sharing them online. It also available on other platforms like tablets and phones. So let's just dive into this and I'm gonna open my Epic Games and launch the Twinmotion. It's better to launch it from the Epic since your twin motion connected to the epic and that connected to the cloud so we're going to double check those connections once again when we upload this to cloud in this case i'm going to use my house scene which is provided with our twin motion class and in this scene we're going to do and run those tests and i'm going to show you how we can create 360s and make a set so we can move from image to image we also have a presenter option which gives you a complete walkthrough the project in real time okay so i'm gonna dive here and um, let's just open this image all right so first option is to make 360s so basically we're gonna place uh, spots of 360 images and that we can do through the panorama so you can see here I created for the night shot panoramas, but now we're going to do it for the day shot. And I'm going to create those sets here. So first set, so first panorama is going to be this one, um, the entrance. And I'm going to go around like this and come back. So I'm going to click on create panorama. All right. Now I'm going to move forward here, create another one move forward here another one another one gonna go inside let's do this uh, move move to the side here let's put another one here Let's do another one here. Let's do one on the exit, actually looking this way. Or maybe out this way, yeah. So we will continue our walk through. So all right place one here and let's wrap it up with this one here okay so we've created those panoramas now in order to build a set and upload it we need to go to panorama set and here i'm going to create a new set and start adding my panoramas. So I'm gonna choose this with uh, shift. If you press shift, you'll be able to select multiple panoramas. Okay, and just drag them here. So we created a set of those panoramas. Now, um, I'm going to go back to the set. This is what we're going to export. Now we're going to go to the export panorama set. Actually going to select this one, deselect that. Let's see, I have presenter. I'm going to remove the selection. I don't want to export that. I did the export uh, previous time. Now let's see if we have anything else selected here. So we will not double export things twice. Everything's looking good. So we just export that panorama set too. And we click export. So you can see it says cloud early access. So we're going to export our panorama straight to the cloud. Now let's click export. You can see the time runs pretty fast. I'm going to speed up this timeline. All right, so transfer was successful. Now let's open our cloud and uh, here we go 
those two sets uh, presenter and panorama set I did yesterday I'm gonna show you this in a little bit but first let's check out this set that we have just uploaded it's just a few minutes to prepare the view all right so our view is ready let's click on view and check it out I'm gonna open this full screen and here we go this is online that's the link so we can share it we're gonna check out those options in a little bit welcome to this view so the navigation is uh, basic scroll in zoom in zoom out look around on the side here we have the sets that we just set it up okay so let's explore as you can see this is just a 360 image uh, with no animation and if we click to go forward we're moving from one point to another obviously we can set up more uh, of those points so the transition will be smoother so just for the sake of this idea uh, I made it kind of speed it up but as you can see we can move here from point to point and check out our 3d scene that's uh it was made in twin motion so those are just easy 360s we can also uh click on these guys if we want to move from point to point All right so super easy to do now we can open it full screen if we want to we have a couple of settings here terms of use standard blur English controls all right so I'm going to close this and if we go back to our cloud and we scroll down here we have the link and the password we have the QR code if we want to send someone they can scan with their phone get it in um, let's just do this I'm going to copy this link and I'm gonna send it to my email so we can just test it out twin motion scene gonna paste it here with the password and I'm gonna send it we're gonna check it in a minute from our browser now we have here also embedded link which is super cool now let me get this embedded code you know I can just click on this copy that and uh, let's paste it in our very school website I'm going to log in and I'm actually going to create new post let's call it twin motion cloud And yeah, let's do here twin motion cloud. That's going to be our title. And here I'm gonna go into text. This is where we paste our codes, and I'm gonna paste that inside here. And let's go back. Voila, we have our scene. Now I'm gonna do a test publish. So let's publish that. And now I can send this link to anyone. All right, so password. Let's see our password. Copy, paste, and let's launch panoramas. Okay so I can open it full screen I can make it smaller to view on my website but here you go amazing stuff right okay so let's go back here 
and um, before we test our tablet I just want to show you another set that I did a few days ago I was testing it and preparing this video tutorial so this one also was a night version of that house and as you can see here it's also moving pretty good I've got all the night setups and everything super easy all right now let me show you um, another one that I did with the presenter and this is not a 360 this is actually a complete walkthrough and uh, I see there's a lot of people using that so we have to wait in order to get to that presentation so I'm gonna wait a little bit and uh... all right and we are in creme de la creme the top line of twin motion presentation as you can see here everything is live with animation and I'm viewing this uh, pretty fast pretty good I can also move inside this thing and it's all online isn't that amazing guys I think this is what we all were waiting for and by the way if I click play here I can go to the beginning of this and it will take me through uh, those three presentations that I've set it up okay so let's go back to this one and just enjoy our live real-time walk through the twin motion scene which is in cloud streaming that to your computer you can share it you can send it to your teammates to your uh, boss to your client anyone to give comments and feedbacks on this work they can travel walk inside in my opinion this is a breakthrough twin motion and unreal engine actually unreal engine should have that option embedded so I hope unreal engine will come up with something similar to this and I think twin motion is the testing program that this has been tested on the cloud option and once it's perfected and working without any bugs fast stream I think it will come to Unreal Engine and we'll be able to upload our scenes to the cloud with Unreal Engine as well all right so before we go last thing is the online option for tablets and phones let's just check it out I can check this on my phone and this stuff is just the next breakthrough amazing cloud option for viewing your scenes on any device with no powerful computer with any of this expensive technology is just simply from your phone from your tablet you can check it out give comments feedbacks from any place in the world with fast internet connection you'll be able to view this in no time all right, so thanks a lot for watching. Join our Twin Motion class to discover those top-notch industry cloud technology that Twin Motion got to offer. Thanks again. This is Alex, your Twin Motion guy. Talk soon. Ciao.